What's up, beautiful people? This video is going to talk about burnout and how to avoid it. And, um, you know, if we're alike, we, uh, we work a lot, you know, or maybe you're not even there yet. Maybe you're still getting up to that point. But uh, when you find your true passion, when you find something that you're really good at, and, um, you know, after watching Sales Remastered for a while, sales would be something you, you become good at. Yeah, you're going to find yourself wanting to do it more and more. And, um, and just kind of like the kid with a new toy, you're excited to, to play with it again, right? And, uh, and so what I want to do is I want to talk about burnout because it's natural. You know, you might find something and get into a groove that just is plush. And I think that we, we naturally become workhorses because we see the upside potential. And so, you know, being doing this for wow, over two decades now is uh, I, I've actually been burnt out more than a few times probably more than a dozen times and I'm not only talking about physically burnt out like how you get from the gym or after doing you know let's say a marathon or, or a long day of moving for example I'm not talking about that burnout I'm talking about burnout just to the point where emotionally you're drained um, burnout where you literally can't move like you become nostalgic Be not physically because of physical you know torment or anything or physical wear I'm talking about mental mentally draining like to the point where you're it feels like almost borderline depression just because it's it's the non-stop boring well it gets boring after a while anything after a while gets boring um, uh, rigorous recycled process and so naturally if you do something long enough and it just there's no excitement there's no change there's no flip you know, no matter if you're making a million dollars a month, it doesn't matter what the income is. You think, you're like, oh yeah, absolutely. When I get to that income, I'm just gonna keep going, I'm gonna go harder. But it's natural that you get burnt out. So my, my answer to you is how, how do you avoid burnout? Simple. There's a reason, which I like to refer to as fire. There's a, there's a fire that fuels that hustle. There's a fire that, that, that naturally propels you out of bed in the morning. There's a fire that you find in, in, as, to, as to the reason why you put in the sweat and tears. Now, media or mainstream is going to usually point these fires or these, uh, these inspirations, I should probably say, to, uh, to family, to kids, to house. You know, maybe you're single or young and you're not there yet. Maybe that passion or that, that inspiration for you right now is just income. Or maybe you just want the new shiny watch, the cool suit, <laughs> you know, the, the nice condo by the beach. Whatever, whatever the inspiration is to you, you have to stop at times in order to avoid burnout. You have to stop, take a step back, and actually try and enjoy it. Now, enjoy it meaning that if you, if you hustle for your family, stop and go enjoy your family. Detach, unplug. And when I say detach and unplug, I mean 100%. Do your absolute best to, to you know, put your phone on sleep mode or non-disturb. Um, do your best to not check your own personal email. Uh, you know, certain things like that where you unplug and you genuinely give attention to the reasons why you hustle. And so in my case, for example, I'm going to use is that I do it all for my family and my team. And so as long as I know that they're doing good and as long as I you know, am, am aware of, of myself doing the absolute best that I can to make sure that everyone's succeeding or everyone is, is better than they were the day before. And you're going to have some off days, you know, you're not going to get them all the time, but as long as you're heading in that direction, you have to, it's an absolute must. Um, whether it's at least once a month or once every other week, it just depends on how hard you're going, you know, but if you're working like part-time right now and <laughs> And it's like an eight hour shift and you know what I mean? Like you take your full hour lunch, then you, you know, burnout and frustration or burnout on the bad day are two separate things. I'm talking about burnout. Like you're doing everything you can, like to the point where like you, you'll know what I mean. And, um, and if you're eager to reach success, if you are passionate about what you do, if, um, you know, if you, if you wake up and go to sleep, with, with business in your head, um, making moves just so that you can refine and enhance your abilities um, make, within the niche that you're in now or the job that you're in now. If all you could think about and all you're doing is practicing and running, running information back and forth in your head, 
that's a sign. It's a sign that you're going to do very well in that in that craft because that's all you could think about. And so naturally, the mind will will progress and adapt and figure out how to how to you know how to conform if that makes sense to that to that process. And that's why your brain is doing it. In my history, any time and every time I've ever found myself doing this, I've in, I've made a tremendous amount of money within you know within a very close time of that period happening. I I'm, I, I swear it's it's happened, and I've I've worked in about five six different industries, sales industries within my career, face to face, business to business. Um, you know, I I've, everywhere from knocking on door to door to sell paving stones. Um, to to selling products and programs that generally were not needed. You know, I was younger at the time. I don't do that anymore. Um, were not needed, should not have been needed, but was naturally sold, and I did it very well. And and the only way that I was able to do this was because I had a certain mindset where I trained my my mind to just do nonstop thinking. And so naturally, when your mind is nonstop, you're going to get burnt out. And so my, my answer again to you is, is whether you're doing it for your family, your kids, or you're doing it for your financial well-being, the answer to avoid burnout is to stop and relish in what fuels your passion. So for me, it's, it, it, it would be to take a day off or leave early and go look at my kids, go be with my wife, go you know, show compassion, show, show, um, show some love and actually slow down and and really absorb what you normally would not experience because your hustle game is just so strong. Now on the flip side, let's say you're brand new to the industry, let's say you're brand new to the sport, you don't necessarily have a family or kids yet, but you plan to get there, or you don't have that car yet, or you don't have that house yet, I would recommend that you go to a dealership, you know, you gotta set a goal, you have to have a goal. Even if it's as, as minimal as something like a car, or if it's a house, you know, you have to go and visit those things. And so, for example, if I really wanted a, um, you know, let's say a, a, a seven series BMW or a Bentley, if that was mine, my, my focus, and and that's what got me up in the morning, I would go to a Bentley dealership, and I would actually sit inside the car, or I'd look around and I'd get the smell, because you have to experience it. It it refuels you, and it lets you believe that it's real. And, um, and let's say it's not even a car, then it's a house, then fine, go look at the house. Go to an open house, it's very easy to find, and walk through it. Get an experience, walk like you're already experienced, like you've already done it, and envision yourself doing it. And, uh, and I promise you, it will naturally come. You just, have to, you just have to keep it within your atmosphere. And so why this works, why I believe it works, is because one, it, uh, it reminds you how good you're doing. <laughs> because the rest of society, you know, the others, your competitors, would much rather go fuck around at a pub, would much rather take that hour lunch break and turn it into two hours and go hang out at a bar to go watch fucking sports or go watch a game or go bullshit about some, some someone at work or go gossip. Does that make sense? Whereas you, you're focused on the game plan. And I'm, you know, hey, I, I, I'm, I'm focused and, and I can tell you from experience, some people will say, oh, you're too good or oh, you're too cool. And the bottom line is you respond, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Say, I got big plans and my plans are, are bigger than going to a fucking bar and hang out. Although that does seem cool and I went through my fair share of, of hanging out and going to the bar and and to be honest with you, it I can tell if you're if you're in a setting like that where you find yourself at a bar, you find yourself, you know, going to take a an hour and a half lunch or two hour lunch, and you get anxiety. You get anxiety because you need to get back and you need to handle your business. Then you're in the right path. But if you go frolic and, and you're good with an hour and a half, you're good with two hours lunch. You're good with, you know, fucking handling shit the next day or fucking pushing it off until next month. Or you don't hit your goal. And you fucking look at yourself and you're like, ah, eh, eh. you know what I mean? Just like fuck it, versus you not hitting your goal and then and then actually dissecting every fucking action that you did the entire month before to analyze why you didn't hit that fucking goal and upset because you see other people's hit that goal and you're wondering how come you didn't hit that goal, so you're going to figure out how to hit that goal. Does that make sense? So if you find yourself doing that, then you're on the right path. But if you find yourself where you're just like, you know what? There's always next month or fuck it, you know, 
I guess I don't need that car. I could settle with this car. You know, the used one is just the same. You know, things like that. You find yourself settling, and I hope you never find yourself there. If you do find someone who is in that state and just kind of willy lump lump along life, you know, and, and just kind of doing shit half ass, please recommend them to Sales Remastered. And uh, as I create more and more content, I'm gonna start um, diversifying the content so that there's folders for your friend Willy Lump Lump. And uh, hopefully they can get on the right path. No, I don't, I don't mean to make fun of your friends. I don't mean to make fun of anyone. I'm just trying to give an example. So I hope that you do understand me. So my answer to you again, <laughs> revisit, is the only way to really avoid burnout is to stop. <laughs> Stop going so hard and thinking that everything is serious for just a couple hours. You can go back to going hard and, and going back to um, laser precision focus um, the next day or, or maybe you know a couple hours later. And you know in the moment, the only person that you have to sell is yourself because in the moment when you realize you're almost getting to that burnout stage, one of two things are going to happen. Number one is that you are going to to get anxious because you feel like oh there, I'm just too busy. There's no way I could I can go relish in what you know in what I what I hustle for, Daniel. There's just no way I can go home and look at my kids. I have to feed them. I have to pay the bills. And my only answer to you is that whatever problem or big time issue you have right then and there will be there tomorrow. It'll be there at midnight when, you're, when your family or your kids go to sleep after you get to hang out with them. Um, but you have to reward yourself. You have to experience that because otherwise if you just keep pounding and you never get to see or experience the reason why you hustle, all you're doing is just you're just you're hamster wheeling it. <laughs> you're just a hamster in the wheel and you never get any of the little those little nuggets that look like pellets. I thought it was always shit, to be honest, but it's actually their food. Fun fact. And so besides that, the second thing that's going to happen is you're just going to feel like, you know what, fuck it. Just the complete opposite. Like, fuck this, fuck them, fuck y'all, and walk out of the door and just, just do something emotionally disturbing where you kind of burn a bridge. And you don't want to get to that point. So that's the whole point, the whole reason why I'm making this video is don't get to that point. Don't get to a point where you know you you can't you can't go back and fix it right like you you do something pretty severe you get you get upset or you come off in a certain way where you can't necessarily change your reputation anymore um, or I'm sorry bring back to life your reputation anymore so avoid that um, and, and definitely treat yourself keep a vision board up I never really had a vision board my, my vision board is a picture of my kids and my family my vision board is is here in my head and how I got by and doing it is, you know, when I wanted a nice car, I went to go to the dealership and I went to experience it. I went to go test drive. Um, when I wanted a house, I went to go to open houses and I experienced it. I imagined myself in it. And uh, up until now, when I want to create a community, I'm doing it. I'm in the process of it. I have no idea what I'm doing. A lot of these videos, when I look back one year from now, two years from now, 10 years from now, um, I'm... I, I get an opportunity, it's like my yearbook. I get an opportunity to kind of see my growth, see my experience, and see my progression. And to me, that's enlightening. Um, it's like my own little TV show. But that's me. You know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying like, hey, you should go do this to go have your own TV show. What I'm saying is you should watch Sales Remastered on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and salesremastered.com so that you can get an unfair advantage in the competition called life. And I'll help you advance through all the experiences and lessons that I've learned within my life. You know, you, you most people pay sixty to a hundred thousand dollars for a college education. I'm gonna give you an education in the school of hard knocks. I'm gonna show you what pitfalls are really out there. You know, they don't teach you about that in school. I went through it and I surpassed. So I hope this video helps, and I do appreciate all your support. Thanks for sticking with me and and, uh, and all the follows. And I see you, all the comments. I see you guys. Thank you.